video we see the graph of cot inverse x cot is related to tan and we have already seen in the previous video the graph of tan inverse x so we will not face any difficulty in understanding this graph as well the above outline for cot x is drawn and also for cot inverse x firstly we will take into account the graph of cot x and then with the help of this graph we will be drawing the graph of cot inverse x let's understand what is cot x basically cot x is what it is cos x upon sin x and we know that cot 0 is what cos 0 upon sin 0 now cos 0 is what 1 so cot 0 will be 1 what is cot 30 degrees cot 30 degrees is cos 30 upon sin 30 cos 30 is root 3 upon 2 sin 30 is 1 upon 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled so cot 30 is root 3 similarly you can find the values of cot 45 cot 60 cot 90 what is cot 90 cot 90 degree is cos 90 upon sin 90 cos 90 is 0 so cot 90 is 0 why are we actually taking into account these values these values will help me to plot the graph of cortex now i know cos 0 is 1 so cot 0 is also 1 so where is cot 0 cot 0 is here where will be 1 1 will be something above so 1 will be above okay what about cot 30 cot 30 is root 3 cot 30 is root 3 root 3 is 1.732 approximately so it is greater than 1 it will be above it again okay fine what about cot 90 cot 90 is 0 so it has to touch cot 90 is 0 so 90 degree will be 0 so it will be here only it will be on the axis so you understand that the values will help me draw the graph and the graph of cortex will help me draw the graph of cot inverse x let's just draw the simple outline the values will start above and will change gradually at pi by 2 where it has to be 0 and it will actually touch the pi by 2 value to get something later let's draw it with more clarity the value will be touching at pi by 2 the graph will be touching at pi by 2 it goes about some values it then touches pi by 2 and it comes downwards so let's draw the graph it touches pi by 2 and then it comes downwards let's make the line more darker more bolder so this is the graph one more thing one more addition to this the graph tends towards infinity above so that means when the value is 0 yes it is 1 which is on the real axis line what about the later stages the later stages tell me that cot pi is there which is nothing but cot 90 plus 90 you split the values you obtain the answer and that tends towards minus infinity line towards the lower line this is the graph of cortex with these values that we drew but what about cot inverse x cot inverse x will be followed by simply three steps what are those steps we have already learnt and understood by now that means you interchange your x with y you interchange your x with y you also interchange your y with x so you interchange your y with x and what last thing is that you do you do the reflection part of y is equal to x line so first step interchanging x with y where is x axis x axis is here it has 0 pi by 2 and pi i drew this x axis part on the y axis now 0 pi by 2 pi the second step y with x interchange y is what y is the real line now this real line becomes x the real line becomes x what is the third step the third step is very simple you need to take the mirror image reflection about the line y is equal to x draw the line y is equal to x y is equal to x is simply a straight line y is equal to x so let us write it as y is equal to x 
simple steps the third step a bit more tricky let's understand the third step again mirror image is what mirror image means whatever is on the left side becomes on the right side whatever is on the right side becomes on the left side whatever is above becomes below whatever is below becomes above let's see i have the dotted line or the asymptote vertical now the graph has the asymptote as horizontal the first thing the second thing the graph is actually towards the y axis above base now it will be towards the asymptote here so let's draw about it the graph starts here just as it starts here then it has to move towards pi by 2 to touch pi by 2 here also it will be what it will move towards pi by 2 to touch pi by 2 so it moves from here towards pi by 2 to touch pi by 2 similar conditions both sides next what we have to do next it also starts from pi by 2 comes down to the line which is the dotted one again it will start from pi by 2 come towards what it will come towards the axis it started from the axis came towards the dotted line in inverse what will happen it will start from somewhere pi by 2 and it will come towards the axis so the mirror image is simply the left and the lower things will become the right and the upper things starts from pi by 2 comes downwards let's see what happens here it starts from pi by 2 comes downwards in a manner to reach to approach the axis approaching dotted line here approaching the axis there the distance should be actually somewhat similar and should not touch it you have to touch or tend the line in such a manner that it does not intersect so it actually has maintained a constant distance throughout and it will never intersect it will just go about parallelly only in imagination as it tends and not touches so in this video we saw the graph of cot inverse x which was related to the study of tan inverse x you always need to know what steps to follow there are only three simple steps the first is interchanging of x with y the second is interchanging of y with x and the last but not the least yet a bit tricky but simple to understand with these videos taking the mirror image reflection about the line y is equal to x in the next video we see the graph of cosecant inverse x